How you doing? It's cold out here in Houston. I'm just going to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Hey, I know it's hard to do probably, but make sure that you have your circle. Uh, make sure your circle sees you properly. You may have friends that see you too small. They love you, uh, but they may see you too small and you may borrow their perception of you. Yesterday I spoke about how I saw myself too small as a result of seeing a woman at, a, at the Barnes & Noble bookstore whose friend purchased a book. And to see someone know who I am without me introducing myself, that was a different thing. I'm accustomed to it somewhat on the ministry end. Uh, but when you step out in a new industry like I did a couple of years ago, and people know your work without you introducing your work for people to buy, which means they purchased it and they follow you somewhere. And sometimes if you have a circle around you, um, if you say these things to your circle, your circle may ask, do you know them? Your circle may say, where do you know them from? Now I'm actually something, uh, Let's say you was with a guy like Jay-Z or Kanye West or Joel Osteen. Let's say Joel Osteen. And let's say you walked in a bookstore or you seen Joel Osteen on the street and someone uh, would say, hey, you changed my life or you helped me. Would you say, do you know them? Or do you already assume that he is known by large masses of people and people would know him all over the world based on his work and the affluence that you see in him. You follow what I'm saying? Oh, Charlie, do you understand what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, sir. Do people understand what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, Miss, Miss B said, Dr. B said, yes. Okay, Dr. B said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the affluence causes you not to ask people certain questions. If you saw T.D. Jakes, and you wouldn't say that you know the person who got the book because you figure his affluence is beyond, his reach is beyond him, and so he's known by many. Maybe there are people close to you, and maybe you are close to certain people. Have we recognized one another's affluence, influence and affluence? Have we recognized the totality of one another's reach? So you have to see how are you being perceived? Because if you don't understand your affluence, you're going to continually think, you're going to continue to think small and convenient and what's nearby and your life won't reach your vision. Our life will go far as our perspective and perception. You feel what I'm saying? Our lives will only go as far as the perspective and perception that we feel. So it's, there is a certain affluence that you have to understand about yourself. And so you have to evaluate, how am I being seen? Do people see you in a far-reaching perception? When you do something good, do they say, that's good, as though you couldn't? Do you do the same for others? See, if we see one another in a large, far-reaching perspective, our products will follow. The energy will follow because we see one another in an affluent situation. We see one another larger than life and everything will follow it. So ask yourself, how am I being perceived? How am I being looked at? How am I being looked at? And all of us, every once in a while, get that slap in the face when we're trying to do something. No one's trying to harm you, but it lets you know that maybe your circle have yet to see you as far as you are trying to go. Sometimes your circle must release you not stop being friends with you, not stop being family members with you, but they got to release you from their mind and let you go as far as you're able. And they have to perceive it to allow that energy to follow because sometimes we haven't let people go. We haven't let them go and soar as far as they can. 
So how are you being seen? How are you being perceived? Because you will see yourself according to how people have seen you. And if people look at you small, you're going to look at yourself small and you're going to feel that challenge and that pain when it's time to break forth into that new way. You're going to find it hard and you're going to find the resistance is going to be hard and you're going to be nervous. So right now I'm releasing you to go as far as you can. Start talking to yourself. Start giving yourself interviews in the mirror. Start practicing how you're going to speak on the radio and on television. Begin to say your name differently. Begin to speak your name differently. Hi, I'm Andre Pfizer and I am. Begin to speak your name differently. My name is whatever it is. And I am here to begin to practice being somewhere else. Begin to broaden your territory and expand your territory. You understand what I'm saying? They're cussing me out on Periscope because, man, they cuss you out on Periscope because no one's cussing me out on Periscope now. They're giving me a few hearts on Periscope? Yes, absolutely. Okay. They're talking back, they're agreeing with me, saying, okay, okay, I'm just asking. I'm going to look at it. At when I'm, okay, I'm just saying, because they cuss. Because they, the folks and stuff, maybe giving you fingers and stuff, maybe putting pictures of fingers. Listen, I'm serious. You have to begin to speak your own name and give yourself an, uh, uh, an interview and begin to talk and change your, your signature. Learn how to autograph. Nobody's telling you to get the big head, but learn how to be affluent. Learn how to have an expanded territory. You know what I'm talking about. Learn, accept that in yourself. Don't think easy. Don't think what's close. What the, somebody say something funny. <laughs> don't think easy and don't look at what's close, okay? Start practicing that upon yourself. And begin to evaluate how people are seeing you. You might have to shift some things around. Listen, before I go... You're a successful person, but it's time to start reevaluating, reevaluating your relationships, not getting rid of them per se, but it's time to start seeing how you are perceived within the confines of those relationships, because that's going to determine your disappointment realm and your encouragement realm, because you got to know this person sees me like this. They love me, but they see me this way. So you might have to start easing up there when it comes to that. You might have to start easing up um, on certain perspectives with them, okay? And you might have to take a different path. So how do you see yourself? You feel me? All right, we'll talk again another time.